Many of us have a playlist of our favorite songs. Maybe some of you play an instrument, or two, or three. Maybe last fall, you started to hear holiday music at Wegmans, which either made you cheerful and festive, or made you think, seriously, it's not even Thanksgiving yet. Whether or not holiday music in November is your cup of tea, though, we all know that music is wonderful. It moves us in a special way. It's a unique form of self-expression. But over the years, I've come to realize that music is so much more. I started learning the piano when I was four. I practiced every day, not because my parents forced me to, but because I loved it. I couldn't wait for them to come home from work to play for them. I dreamed of someday being on stage with the Rochester Philharmonic Orchestra in front of a giant audience. But this was only my first step into music, the first layer of what music really is. I began to discover the true nature of music in my middle school orchestra. There, I met my three best friends, a cellist who was a die-hard Star Wars fan and an amazing actor, a violinist whose radiant confidence I admired, and another cellist, a jack-of-all-trades, who managed to ask the deepest questions about the shallowest things. And like all good friends, we had heated debates over everything possible, uh, our teachers, the musical Hamilton, whether or not you should drink the juice from a fruit cup, you shouldn't. But at the end of the day, playing music together made us happy and brought us closer. In my freshman year of high school, I had an experience that showed me I could do even more with music. I had the chance to solo with the Rochester Philharmonic, the orchestra of my childhood dreams, on NPR's nationwide program, From the Top. In addition to the unforgettable live recording, all of us on the show were also invited to take part in an arts leadership program. And that's where I became aware of how much potential I had as a musician to engage with my community through the arts. The arts leadership program gave me the impulse to start my own organization, Music for Love. Music for Love is a student-run network of talented young musicians across Rochester, New York. We take our playing and our passion to people who don't have a lot of access to great music. A little over two years ago, we went to a hospital for the holiday season. I was at the piano bench performing when two people stopped by to listen, a patient in his wheelchair and his daughter who was helping him around. By the time I had finished, they were nowhere to be seen, but they left behind a program. On the program was a small heart and a note from the daughter. My dad has been in the hospital for almost a month, and your music was quite a surprise. Thank you for this beautiful gift. I wanted to eventually reach a wider audience, so I also became involved with the Long Long International Music Foundation as one of their young scholars. Our job as young scholars is to be sort of musical diplomats, um, advocating for music and helping more children access quality music programs. I went to New York City to perform in a fundraising gala for one of the foundation's programs called Keys of Inspiration, which helps underprivileged schools install piano labs for students and teachers to use. The part of the concert I remember the most was kids in the program talking about their experience. So I want to show you a clip of one Keys of Inspiration student. My name is Kennedy King. I'm eight years old and I'm in third grade. Kennedy um, this year enrolled in this music program and she would come over here and say, well, can I play this for you? Can I play that? And then slowly I see Kennedy, you know, she's falling in love with the piano. This is my first year being in the Keys of Inspiration program and it's been really fun so far, and me learning about different things has made my life a little bit better. I noticed this year, at first she was nervous to take on the job of playing the keyboard, but what I love about Kennedy is that she just has such a res resiliency to just really work through um, challenges. Piano class makes me feel like I should be in this class every day. Sometimes I jump out of my seat. 
and I get so happy I start clapping. Now that Kennedy is in the fourth grade, she's been learning exponentially. I mean, when she was first a piano student, she couldn't read any music. She had no idea how to play any songs. And now she went from one hand to two hands to now she's playing chords. When I think about where she started, I'm, I'm very proud to be her music teacher. Before the music, Kennedy was more so like family oriented. There was no friends outside of her family. Once she got enrolled into the Keys of Inspiration, um, she opened up like it was like a flower blossoming. I love music so much. It makes me feel awesome. It's like I have a skeleton key and I can just open every door and it's like each song is a new adventure. This program, Keys of Inspiration, um, at Fox Chase Elementary has been a gift. When she plays, you can tell that it's really changing her in the inside. The music has become part of her life and I'm really thankful. Keys of Inspiration was launched in 2013 and is projected to enroll 32,000 students by 2020. In the two gala performances I attended, the foundation raised over $3.6 million for the program. Parents and teachers point to Keys of Inspiration for improving students' attendance, grades, and motivation, and setting them up for future success. Playing at the gala renewed my inspiration and got me thinking about ways to increase access to music education here in Rochester. Even though we have so many great teachers and community music schools, kids in the inner city who live closest to these opportunities are often the furthest from reaching them. I became a teaching intern at Rock Music, a free music education program for city school students. Each Tuesday afternoon, I teach kids violin at the Edgerton Recreation Center downtown. For many children, this is their chance to tap into their love for music and also develop skills like confidence and teamwork that have lifelong benefits. Some rock music students have gone on to play with the world-famous conductor of the Los Angeles Philharmonic, Gustavo Dudamel. Others have gained acceptance to School of the Arts, a dynamic, successful school in a struggling school district. Last year, some of the older kids played music from the Opera Carmen with the Rochester Philharmonic. I am amazed at not only the children's progress as musicians, but also their growth as human beings. Last June, Music for Love held a fundraiser for rock music run entirely by young musicians to help the program expand and give more kids on the waiting list the chance to study an instrument. My journey through music has been a collection of mind-opening experiences, each one leading to the next. Um, everywhere I've gone, I've met so many wonderful people I would never have had the chance to meet otherwise. And these people have become part of my own community that I treasure. No two people in my community come from the same background or share the same culture or have the same beliefs, but music connects us all through a common bond. On top of that, Keys of Inspiration and Rock Music showed me how music education, to put it quite simply, changes kids' lives. In today's world where ignorance and stubbornness have disrupted what is supposed to be the United States of America, Music is especially relevant because it creates empathy. Empathy allows us to think from the perspective of someone else. This creates understanding, which leads to reconciliation and reunification. As we move forward, music will always be a part of us. So let's see music for everything it has to offer. Music builds community. Music creates love. Music makes social change. Music breaks boundaries. Music is more. Thank you. Thank you.